Here is a worked example of acid-base reactions for you. So an acid and a base is always, always, always going to produce a salt and water. A base that can dissolve in water is what we know as an alkali. So all alkalis are bases, but not all bases are alkalis. This base can be a metal oxide, or it can be a metal hydroxide. Now we need to know the formulas and the salts for each of the common acids. So hydrochloric acid's formula is HCl, and salt is always going to be a metal chloride. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4, and the salt produced is going to be a metal sulfate. Nitric acid is HNO3, and the salt produced is going to be a metal nitrate. Now hopefully you've noticed that all of these three start with H, that's because that's the bit that's responsible for making it acidic. So if we react hydrochloric acid with sodium chloride, remember we are always going to get a salt plus water. Now the tricky thing here is working out what the salt is called. So for the name of the salt, the metal goes first. Here is our metal. So that is sodium. And hydrochloric acid always forms metal chlorides as our salt. So it is sodium chloride plus water forms. If we have sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide, we are again going to get a salt and water forms. The name of the salt is going to take the metal first. So again, that metal is sodium. And sulfuric acid always forms metal sulfates as our salt. So that is sodium sulfate plus water. Sodium hydroxide again, but this time reacting with nitric acid, so you can see the difference. Again, we're going to get our salt forms, and sodium is our metal. Sodium is going to be turned into sodium nitrate, because nitric acid always forms nitrate salts, and that is plus water. Hydrochloric acid and calcium oxide. Again, salt and water formed. Hydrochloric acid forms metal chloride salts. Our metal in this situation is calcium. So that will be calcium chloride plus water. Calcium oxide and sulfuric acid. Salt, water, metal salt, sulfuric acid is metal sulfate. So that is calcium sulfate and water. Calcium oxide and nitric acid will give us calcium nitrate because we're using nitric acid we use a nitrate salt and water. Potassium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid will give us potassium, it's our metal here. Hydrochloric acid means we are going to get a chloride as a salt and water. Lithium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. Lithium is our metal. Sulfuric acid means it is going to be lithium sulfate plus water. And then the last one for you, nitric acid and magnesium oxide will give us magnesium is our metal, nitrate because we use nitric acid and water. I really hope you found this video helpful. You can join my online classroom at Patreon where you will get weekly assessments so you can keep improving and at the same time support me.
subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. To keep up to date, you can follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. And for extra resources, blogs and all of the videos in order, you can visit my website, primrosekitten.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, questions or corrections, down below, please.